Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Sandmark anamorphic lens for your mobile devices. Now, Sandmark did send me this lens for review, but they did not have any say-so in my thoughts or opinions on it. So let's get started. I said in my previous video that I wanted to get into filmmaking and doing more video. So when Sandmark reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their lenses, I automatically said yes and automatically picked out the anamorphic lens. I've been wanting to try one of these uh, mobile anamorphic lenses for quite some time because uh, if you guys know, you know, that anamorphic look you see in Hollywood movies or in movies in general, I should say, is always just so cool looking. You get some awesome blue looking flares, horizontal flares, and you get those black bars in the top and bottom naturally, not added in pose. So uh, I was super excited to test out the anamorphic lens. A few things, this is Sandmark's newest anamorphic lens. So their previous anamorphic lens shot at a 133 ratio. This new one shoots at a 155 ratio. They still sell the other one. This one's a little bit pricier. By shooting at 155, I'm not sure exactly what uh, resolution you get in post. That's still like rocket science to me, but you pretty much get a wider look. So you get bigger bars in the top and bottom. This lens does come with a clip, so you can just attach it to any mobile device. And it comes with a case for your iPhone, but Sandmark did also send me the Pro case for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the combo I enjoyed using the most because with the clip, even though it's easy to kind of just put on and off really quickly, it's harder to get aligned. So the way this lens works is you screw it onto either the wide or telephoto lens, and you have a white mark here on the lens. What you wanna do is you wanna line up the white mark here with a line in the case to get perfect alignment. Here's where it gets tricky. When you get the alignment perfectly, the image quality is pretty decent. So you get the anamorphic look, you get the lens flares. It was definitely fun and you get some cool results. If you don't get the alignment right, your horizon's gonna look wonky and it's just gonna distort the image in unflattering ways. My biggest con with this lens, my biggest issue is, this lens is designed to work uh, regardless of the orientation, so the lens actually moves, so you can align it either if you're shooting vertical or horizontal. The problem is it's so easy to move this lens. So uh, after you take a clip or you're finished recording, uh, if you move a little or you put your phone in your pocket, it gets knocked out of alignment. And if you don't constantly check to see if your lens is aligned, you're gonna get wonky results. That was my biggest pet peeve in using this lens. Uh, I took it to a soccer game and I took it to a walk just to test it out, see how it worked. And it continuously kind of got knocked out of alignment and just, that got a little frustrating. Other than that, I was really impressed with the build quality. So this lens is actually made out of metal and it has some nice heft to it for a, for a mobile lens. It's actually pretty decent. Um, and also has filter threads. Sandmark really thought of everything here. So you can actually put an ND filter on this lens and truly shoot cinematic footage with your iPhone. This is one area, if you're new to my channel, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer, photographer first, just barely dabbling into video. I did not know how in the weeds you can get shooting video with the iPhone. I, I downloaded the Filmic Pro app uh, to use this lens because Again, anamorphic lenses, what they do is they squeeze uh, kind of the image so that way you can get more in the sides. And what you're supposed to do in post is de-squeeze the footage to get the anamorphic look. But if you're using an app like Filmic Pro, it de-squeezes it for you. I did not know how much you could do on the iPhone. You can shoot in log, you can do manual focus, you can do everything you can do with a regular camera you can do on the iPhone using Filmic Pro. And it was definitely overwhelming. I <laughs> I had to watch tutorials how to use Filmic Pro, but that's a whole nother video. In the end, the anamorphic lens with the iPhone and the Pro case were really fun to use, and I plan on using them in the future for kind of behind the scenes clips, kind of video clips where I don't wanna take out an extra camera or just wanna get quickly, but also add a little, add a little spice to it. Uh, I definitely like this combo. So, biggest complaint, this freaking kind of moving, adjusting lens. If Sandmark could create like a locking mechanism for like their next version where once it's aligned, it's locked into place, I truly think they have a winner because that's my only complaint with this lens. So those were my quick first impressions. Um, hopefully you enjoyed some of the clips I was posting up. Again, I've used this a handful of times. I'm gonna really kind of try something 
uh, more intentional here in the coming weeks, and I'll post that video here on my channel. As always, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Definitely we will have more content coming up on everything photo and video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Thank you.